Hi all. Time for this train wreck. You're gonna like it. Maybe. There's they're still uh, talking about the new map and shit, so uh give it a sec. I fucking slaughtered a demon. Get on my level, bitches. Talking... Talking about level. <laughs> we were not allowed to level up yet, right? We should. That was a CR-13. Exactly. Six. Nah, to eight, right? Instantly to eight. Come on. For 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 me. Do it for me at least. I I almost so looked at shit. Yeah, exactly. I need the levels, man. Your, it's, your, it's your fault that you allowed it. And anyway, TLDR of the last session. We fucked up a demon. Me specifically. I fucked up the demon. You guys assisted. <laughs> and the spider. And those seals. Don't forget those seals. <laughs> Yeah, found a magical hand. Yeah, fault safe. Found a magic, found a magic hand, and I think we put it. And I think we put it back. <laughs> uh, no, I have to touch it for identify, and I identified it, and then I forced everyone. To Let me just... Ta-da. <laughs> so how many D6? That's the idea. Uh-huh. Destructive properties to... Super secret secret. I stayed because I wanted to take a long rest there. I needed to heal. I died last session. <laughs> Felfit's stealing the hand, isn't he? He's gonna use it as a spell component. Obviously, I remember. God damn it. Exhaustion level, right? Yes, which means that after a, the time of a long rest, I would take one level of exhaustion.
I think previously you previously you made it that no benefits from rest would equal an exhaustion level. Since it since a rest prevent. Yes. Yes. I kind of brute force that one, remember? <laughs> that as well, yeah. Typical Dark Souls level design. No, it has a range. Every trapped door just has a lever. Dark Souls level design, boys. The birds. Becky, let me smash. No, I saw a bird. It was pretty. Kick his ass.
Yeah, I'm also on one health, so... It's a sensible decision for my character to stay down there. At least one of you sneaks. Day you guys are here if this is a okay I am so sorry I never this? noticed that I remuted my um, desktop audio. at this point sorry about that well how long has it been muted a, is there even anyone in the chat under I don't know switch, and you see that that one turns towards uh yeah later run yeah run back let me think. How much movement do you guys each have? Ninety feet. With, with, with dash, we with could dash, do yeah. dash. With dash, sixty. Okay. And so they can't uphill. roll uphill. So once we're in the tunnel, it's uphill. They yeah. have to walk. They have a fifty feet movement speed and only thirty and thirty feet when rolling. So I guess they would roll after you, and I guess after you, but they wouldn't be able to... You sure it's not the other way around? They have 50 F feet of movement 50. normally, 30 feet when rolling, 60 feet when rolling downhill. Ah, 15 feet, isn't it? Not 15, yeah. 15 feet mm -hmm. when moving normally. So I guess you would hear them, those three rolling towards you, but you would just run out. Upwards and yeah, I. I mean, there's not really a road for running, so I guess I could do a dex or whatever. But nah, I, I guess that's fine. Okay, you make it out. Well, uh, I guess I could go back to the, to the Aki Dinok map. Okay, we'll make it out. Okay, easy. Okay, we run like what? What time is it? What time of the day is it? <sighs> when the fuck did you guys enter? Midnight? Early. Oh yeah, no, it was early. Early. no, no, midnight you you met the graveyard guy. Oh uh, yeah, we, we met Leomund. Then you entered it, yeah, Lost Song is about right, it was earlier, right? So, but you spent quite some time, so I guess it would be around evening. Yeah, sure. I guess it's evening, it's around... Do we know where the dean lives? Uh, where the, like, dean of the academy lives? No. Impressive. Um, 
Penrose was the illusion, right? I just look over it to it, like, like, I feel like Penrose might be the best option. Also, it's the closest tower from here on. Yeah. Okay. So we run up as to the you, illusion tower. Yeah. As you uh, go through the harbor and then towards the gate, before you enter the gate, you see um, a little girl just playing around with some birds. And you... Where the fuck do I even have her? Do I have her archived? What's her name again? Here. God damn it. Yeah. This one. Uh, yeah, but you, she completely ignores you and just plays with some birds. I mean, ignores you as in you didn't say something to her, but she does is not troubled by you running towards the gate, or I guess working. Oh, on the it's oh god. As you I know, past... she is also a dean. She's the dean of transportation. As I run past the gate, I just like, wait a second. I just pass over, like, wait. I know What's you. her name again? Because we don't have a P NPC handout for her. Yeah, yeah. Penrose. Uh, Can you give us the others yeah. as well? Like, everyone. Yeah, I should just write the names down at one point. Uh, her name is Yamiya, and it's just. Well, you haven't met much. Uh, how should I say this? In theory, she would be Professor Yamiya, but you haven't heard of her actually teaching something. I would like. Uh, classes. Wait. I know you, right? Y you work for the academy, right? Uh, what would she answer? Um, oh, do I have to walk again? No, 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 no you don't have to work. You, you just need to help me out. Can you get Penrose to come here? Like, I, I need to talk to Penrose or the principal. Please, help me. Literally anyone but you can help, please. <laughs> yes. Exactly. <laughs> that, that's basically what you did. <laughs> she thinks. She seems to think, and it's like mm, they are having all the meeting right now. I guess I should be there too, but it's boring. No, no, no. wait. But before you go there, before you go there, tell them it's about the Rakshasa. Uh, tell them it's about Rakshasa, and we need to tell them immediately, or take us with us to the meeting. We need to talk to them now. <laughs> um, she's pouting a bit because you basically told her what to do, and she's like, mm, "I don't want to go. You well, have then... been in that. You have been in the room before where they meet. Just go Day of go to, uh, to them yourself." I mean, and we then... don't know how we got there. I mean, actually, do you not? Yeah, actually, we know. We know. I thought they teleported us there. No, 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 don't. I know teleported you guys there, we, but we got teleported we into the uh, fountain. You know it was in the tower of the... Many, many doors. Yeah, exactly. Uh, of the... God damn it. In, not enchantment. Conjuration. Abjuration. Dimension door. Conjuration. Conjuration. Here. Uh, where is the ping, actually? God damn it. Yeah. I mean... You mean? Thank you, we go there. <sighs> and I drag you with me. Thank you. <laughs> the, 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 Thank you oh. very much. I think this is so far. So I just... She goes back to the bird, ignoring you. <laughs> Everything, everyone but you. <laughs> yes, <Exactly>. literally. <laughs> the only one who is not useful. Anyway, I guess you head up to uh, the top of the conjuration tower where you actually know. Uh, yeah, and you standing. Uh, hi, in front Violet of... Bolster. What's uh, I saw what's wrong. What do you mean? What's wrong? Yeah, you had just this. Reaction. Oh yeah, sorry, I had to read a name. Hard to read. Ah, okay. I thought you were like surprised by something. Anyway. You know you're standing in front of the door where you once have met the, uh, yeah, the, uh, the, I guess seven of the deans, whatever. 
and the headmistress. I just knock on the door, like without batting an eye, just knocking on the door immediately. How do you knock on the door? <laughs> yeah, you would just smash it down, like. <laughs> door, enter with door and all. It's an emergency, <laughs> I'm not gonna wait. Enter with the door in hand. <laughs> Um, yes, I knock on the door. Uh, I guess you feel some wind pushing from behind the door opens and you uh, see in the room and there is actually the... How much would there be? There would be, let me think, six members of the... It's the 16s, well, excluding Yamya. Yeah, there is even the, the, the dragon one. And at the end of the table, the headmistress. Shut up, Lamb. I can't. Um, and you I can can't. hear. Uh, wait, do I have the room still? Do I even care about it? Doesn't matter. No, whatever. Let's see. Yes, no, no. Actually, I'm not sure if I still have that one. Anyway. Um, you hear the headmistress of divination that was that one uh, saying something I told you we would have some interruptions but um, I guess they have something important to say look how exhausted they are I just I just like uh, turn towards uh... towards the table no, no I was like I think can we trust the other teachers are we just gonna tell the Dean first uh, the principal first no brain, uh, just I, shout, Rakshasa, Fekna, and... Okay, then, and <laughs> just shout, just like, completely out of breath, Dungeon, under the school, Rakshasa, dead, hands of Fekna. <laughs> uh, basically, all of them look very confused at you, except for the headmistress. She looks angry, I guess. And um, she stands up and is like, um, with, and again, it's this weird, um, very silent voice that somehow the wind carries close to your ear. So it almost is like she whispers, I'm not going to do, uh, what's it called? ASMR stuff? Uh, yeah, it's, a like, it's but, ASMR. But yeah, that's what I mean. Also, but, Lam, thank you for the host with no followers or people or whatever. Me and Lamb wouldn't have any followers. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Oops, did I accidentally click says, that for a repeat? Our meeting has been concluded. It seems there's something urgent I have to attend to. She lets her... Um, she looks around the room and... Um, and says... Tremlo, uh, that's a, you remember this guy, um, and would she also say, I guess the, god damn it, what's his name again, uh, Professor Xong, so that would be the, do I really not have to, I can't find my thing where I had all the, the, um, the, the guys listed, god Mac damn it, guy? oh, Steph, there it is, God damn it. Steph, Steph, Steph was here. Let me check. So, yeah, of uh, course, there would be no. You are not here. All right, you that, are not here. that yeah, note was there. Um, you were gun. Not legal in this I just noticed oh, that boy, this guy kind of looks like note. chemo on steroids. Yeah, fair enough. That's actually the guy I was talking about. He would also go with you. Uh, oh, I guess she's telling to which ones to come. So him, her, basically all but those two. <laughs> she actually doesn't include Penrose or fuck Penrose. And I guess she also doesn't include. But I don't have his picture on here right now. But he Drag is actually guy. yeah, wherever I have him. Oh god damn it! Here. Okay. Um, they step outside the room. The the three left behind are confused. The three with her are, are also very confused. <laughs> anyway, she asked where. 
I just say reset the uh, entrance of the dungeon, or can you teleport? Uh, Come with yeah, us, just... and we just run oh. back. And we just point them. There. No, no, no. We uh, we know the that's at the bay down there. Waterfall, the waterfall was it? Harbor. Waterfall. It's close to the waterfall. I would just explain them where it is on on the school grounds. Mm. Would they take us with it, yes? When you say waterfall, uh, I guess she would look towards um, Tremlo, make a gesture, and um, uh, yeah, his reaction would be like, oh, oh yes, uh, of course, and would actually open a portal. And you would be near the entrance, and the other, well, those four, plus you two guys, step through. Sweet. Yes. Okay. You are near the waterfall. I guess you would go towards the entrance, whatever. Yes. I'd be okay. like, it's down here. Yeah. Um, she would be. Um, <laughs> I think she would just make a gesture to lead the way. So, Naomi. For you to guys down. to lead the way and would say the word explain while what? Well, well, I want to do this, yeah. I could <laughs> so, um, just to really explain her that we found the collector and uh, he showed us this place and that this collector this race or I describe how it looks and that he actually is Leomund um, as we found out and that we just had to go through some rooms of tests whatever and then the end we found a vault uh, where the Rakshasa uh, was already waiting for us he attacked us but we managed to kill him and in the vault there was the hand of like uh, yeah, why you just say that the, the other, uh, well... Now, okay, before so you get... The head mist Sorry. Before you get mad, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just you chillaxing no in the graveyard. Don't get mad! <laughs> no. The headmistress pretty much keeps a poker face and doesn't actually look... Uh, just basically just looks ahead. Uh, at, um, she. I would uh, have Enzika with me, wouldn't I? Walks, I could just show it to them. When she, when she walks, it almost looks like she is floating, but she's not actually floating, just her walking almost. Gracefully like walking. Yeah, let's say it like this. Anyway, uh, the other uh, three actually seem like they have some questions, but they look towards uh, the headmistress as if they want to, uh, her to allow saying something or uh, to question but she doesn't make a gesture so the other three basically keep quiet uh, you come to the room of the stone thingies at first these things chased us when we first came into here and I feel like some of, and they're still active but I think that's not a yeah, um, she just walks right through the middle when they turn around to get to her. You feel uh, wind, um, how should I say, it's more and more wind uh, circling around her, well, like a whirlwind, or how should I say this? You take it, you guys take this. Uh, I mean, you are still a bit behind her, or how should I say this? I guess you would go away from the wind, if you know what I mean. Uh, it seems very strong anyway. Um, they get, um, how should I say this? The wind affects those stone golems, however you should call them, they're not really golems, but whatever. Those stone figures. They actually circle around with the uh, with the wind. They break into pieces, and other pieces knock against those pieces, and 
it's just a few moments after a few moments it's over and there are just piles of small or i guess uh, parts of stone layered around the room and she basically kept walking the time and is now on the other side of the room where well, about wow that was rude you could yeah, almost call she it basically a... just shattered the stone in this room she, that without was quite... you guys actually getting hit by the uh, flying round that was quite uh, the rude sandstorm anyway <laughs> See, Hajo got and it. She continues. I think I was gonna was one, just didn't want to acknowledge your bad fucking joke. What? Didn't you hear what he said? Maybe not. That was quite a rude sandstorm. Oh, dead. Yeah, whatever. It wasn't even sad. My, yet. my, my comedic genius is not appreciated. No, yeah, I wouldn't call it genius. All comedic. Good, but good enough. It's not appreciated. <laughs> anyway. I now know how a lamb feels. Ah, I forgot actually something. <laughs> what? You forgot lamb exists? Don't worry, we no, all do. I don't care about him. But I meant oh. when actually, Leyland, when you walk outside uh, the cave and the first time you, well, basically look back at the sun. Your left eye hurt a little bit, similar to uh, how it happened when it was engulfed by the darkness of the draw. Uh, but then, after just a few moments, it is gone. And yeah, nice. that's why then, when you now enter again in this cave, it seems like, um, how should I say this? Your dark vision is as normal as it was before. I see, I see. Anyway, sorry. Well, after she has done the, well, basically destructed, uh, yeah, ob obliterated those poor garlic dirt. Sorry, those poor stone. Whatever. Um, yeah, the. Uh, yeah, she just. The stone thing. Yeah, and she just continues and walking, and you actually hear. Uh, the old woman who is the dean of the um <laughs> she walks by it slow by the way but you hear the dean of uh, well you hear her laughing a little bit and then she says to you two guys who walk a bit behind well maybe the rumors about her are true i have heard even before i was born a few um a few hundred years ago before she was the headmistress, uh, no, when she just became headmistress, the current king asked, uh, um, had a request for her, and because he didn't like elves, he told her to do some quest that was clearly beneath her, told her to clear out some bandits in a mountain to the north, um, to the west. <laughs> so in the same night. Uh, there was a big storm and when the king looked outside on the, in, the, in the morning at the next day there, the mountain was gone <laughs> I like this rumor I have no idea how much of this is true but I've never heard that that king or a king after this has ever made a request from Inakiru after that anyway you guys walk down and I will Basically, don't piss her off or you she'll quite literally obliterate the mountain. Anyway, you walk down and blah blah blah, we will just skip for now. And yes, you are back at... Where even is my uh, player? So you would be... I can't even go to all back there, so I will just have to let it go and then... Okay. I guess, yeah, all the guys are down here. There, 
Okay, you look down from above as you um, yeah, as you go down again. You can see Asa sleeping in a corner, definitely um, not having a sleeping a good sleep. He's just try um, going. I don't know how I should explain, but you know what I mean. He seems to be plagued by bad dreams. You also can see a spider corpse in front of the door. You can see Octo. The door is closed, you say? No, the door is open. Fucking I knew it. I just... Wait, did we close it up again when we... Yes. Oh no. I mean, the door's open and the fucking kleptomaniac is gone. Is he a kleptomaniac? He steals oh, yeah, everything that can potentially be used as a spell ingredient. You look inside the room, the hand is gone. There doesn't seem to be a trace of either the hand, nor Octo. The head is oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, oh, no. look at you. They, but, Just... I mean, they look at the room, they look at that spider corpse, and that drider corpse, at, well, like uh, lost song laying in that corner and on the empty room and on your faces. So, what you say? Uh, That's someone actually me. what I would have said as well. Uh, <laughs> someone wake me up. <laughs> yeah, someone wake... I guess you do that. Um, do you wake up? That was there. That's not good. Um, I guess Tremlor asks you, who was down here with you? Um, just our classmate Octo and Essa. Um, uh, lost uh, lost long. <laughs> The cat over there and Octo is missing, as well as the hand. Um, just, the... I just look over to the enchantment Professor, do you have any means to track a person down? Do you mean divination? Yes. Yeah. Um, um, you see the headmistress nods to her. She takes out the crystal ball. And, yeah, she just looks uh, around it for a bit and I mean, um, I guess, I mean, look around, she's blind, but I mean, uh, I guess she would ask you, do you have something that belongs to this Octo you speak of? This weasel. Actually, you don't see Paco around. We were holding him the entire time. We're holding yes. him? Yes. I was more Yes, of course you were holding him. I was more thinking of him just... We like, just walking over and suddenly like... Oh! Weasel's gone. Welp! This is inconvenient. Ah, mm. doesn't matter. Okay, even if you... Okay, then let's say Paco has been there. But as you notice, the open room, Paco vanishes. Does it need to belong to him, or does it just has to be something that he touched? Mm, let me check scrying. If I remember correctly, scrying works better the more accurate you can link yourself to said person. You have heard of the target, you have met the target, you know the target well. 
uh, likeness or picture, possession or garment, body part, lock of hair, bit of nail or the like. There is basically like, uh, depending on what you have, you get plus or minus points on the chance of it's getting right. But anyway, I guess maybe you guys have something of him. I don't know. But when she's trying, um, she, uh, Wait, I just so turned, ah, I have an idea. Okay, go, go look into the dorm. I bet there's something from him. Just some leftover hair or something within his room. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess for now, you guys would just try to explain whatever, and she's trying to scry him with a, a crystal ball, but after a short amount of time, she shakes her head and uh, she says, it seems to not even simply fail. It seems like whatever he is carrying is blocking my vision. Much like your own eyes. Mm. I don't know why I'm not allowed to say that to blind people. I think she would chuckle. <laughs> I'm also still asleep, right? Oh yeah. Um, I guess the others haven't woken you up yet. I mean, I haven't heard him say we're jumping down. Um, I'm going to and wake. How do you uh, wake him up? <laughs> should have fire I'm, at his I'm holding a fish under a fish under his nose. No, I guess you do have fish. Father, this one believes the fish does not go there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I guess Lost Song wakes up, uh, and before he actually tries to beat what uh, has woken him up, because he's still on edge from his dreams, I think you would be calmed down by the fish and... As I just has, have a fish-based nightmare. Yeah. I mean, I guess at this point you are... And it takes you a little bit to remember what what, the, what was going on. Right. Uh, this one. Uh, why is... Where's Octo? Okay. This one will tell if he knows. But this one wants you to say that you're not going to be mad at him. We're not going to be mad at you. Be mad at you. Okay, so this one was going to sleep after having locked the door. And then this one had very strange dreams. I think the Rakshasa Claws did the thing again. And this one does not know. <sighs> Either that or you should have cool. some aftermaths of your drugs. Oh yeah. We <laughs> don't... don't need to tell the deans about that. We just <laughs> oh, yeah. okay? Yeah. You actually feel some slight like, craving for it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah. It's a good yeah. thing this one asks you to not be mad. <laughs> Because this one has a feeling you guys were going to be mad. A little bit. Maybe, possibly. I mean, you've just let a crazy gnome escape with the most powerful necromantic artifact in the complete history. To be fair, this one did almost die to the Rakshasa because I am the only one capable of damaging him properly. Hey. That is a fair point. <laughs> So that the girl escape. I mean, this one tried to sleep. Very tiring. It very painful. Doesn't matter. We so have to find Octo somehow. Well, you know, this one uh, would help, but uh, my back hurts from carrying you guys. Fuck off. <laughs> anyway. Roll for vicious um, mockery. <laughs> that is almost yeah. savage enough, right? <laughs> Anyway, 
Trembler looks at uh, the dead body of the spider and then looks to his colleague, the uh, professor of conjuration, the, that was that, was it a gnome? Yeah, a gnome in that, in the well, I guess power armor, whatever you want to call it. Basically Timo. Yeah, basically Timo. He looks at Timo. <laughs> he looks at Timo. I just think this face with the goggles on top of the head it just looks so much like Timo. Wait, this one wants to know. Uh, Mr. Uh, ben, uh, wait, ben, before Mr. you say that, uh, yeah, he looks at him and says, It seems the security of Tynok has failed us again, Professor Xong. And you just see him murmur something to himself. The, I mean, the prof, uh, the, the, prof, the gnome. You know that the professor of abjuration is actually the guy responsible for what goes in and what goes out. Yeah. Uh, professor Penrose. He's not actually. Penrose is not with us. You call you just I think you said Tremor. Give me a sec. No. I think you yeah, said well, Penrose. Yeah, well, Tremor is not Penrose. Give me a sec. I'm. Do I have to? I'm cleaning the images of those guys. Where do I have them? I'm lost. The fat guy. Penrose is I'm the. I'm also very tired. So. Real life or? Yes. Something with trying to reset my fucking sleep schedule because work tomorrow afternoon. I heard about that one before. I think you mentioned it like once. No, no, a few times against Dragon. Oh, by the way, Asa, I this can, guy. I can calm you. I'm not, by the yeah. way, officially. Uh, I don't have my fuel rush anymore, so. Okay, oh. cool. So I don't need to hide the bikes yet. Well, tomorrow, you have to. Oh shit! Tomorrow I'm at work. Well, tomorrow I'll get my like preemptive, like to they get me my proper yeah plastic card thingy. Okay, so about this, there could be the guys also in here with you. Professor of Abjuration, Professor of Conjuration, Professor of, uh, I mean, Dean, uh, and then uh, of Divination, and then the Headmistress in her queue. Anyway. Um... What would be at next? Um, I get. Yeah, maybe. I guess probably Tremlom would ask you. You said there was a Rakshasa here? Yes, the same one we uh, told you about in the other situation with the Big Bees location. Was it Big Beast? This one cannot remember. It, it was Big Beast, but its corpse just crumbled. Ah, dust. right, right. Wasn't it, it like it, that? No, no, no. It turned to liquid that, with infernal screams. And then. I'm pretty uh, sure you that you are. There was no Rakshasa at Big Beast. Uh, no, wait, it was at the uh, training area. Yeah. <laughs> this one. Actually, Mikara was at Big Beast. <laughs> ah, same difference. <laughs> anyway, this one, uh, it's the Rakshasa we talked about earlier. However, this time, we actually won. However, the screaming, oily, bubbly stuff that made him disappear and scream mm, did not leave a body. Or body parts. You see, uh, you see him thinking of uh, Tremlo, thinking about something. Killed him. Hmm. Are you sure that did you told before that he escaped the last time? Yes, he teleported. Yeah, and you're not time, sure sometime. that's not what happened this time as well. The last well, time he didn't scream like that. This one would ask the Rakshasa, however, he was too busy screaming very loudly after my axe had hit him in the chest multiple times. 
he looks at that big um, X you have on your back. Uh, this X. Yes, this one. Uh, he looks at. Is it magic of any kind? It has the magic of music. No, no, wait, that's my bongos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My music is killing people. <laughs> it has the magic of. It's called death metal. <laughs> it has the magic of. Fuck you, the DM made a mistake. <laughs> it's the music of death metal. No. No, I. No. He actually says. Um, as far as I know, a Rakshasa would not care much about. A weapon that is not magic. But he would care about that and then show him the dagger dog web because it's. You do realize that. What do you mean you show him the dagger? I, I, I just sort of say I have a magical dagger and he cares about that. He and I don't show him the holding dagger. holding up your hand. I, I, I just say I have a magical dagger. I oh, don't you don't show actually him. show, no, no, try to show no, him. I, I just forgot what invisible is. It's yes, actually an invisible dagger. Yes, I know, I know. I know. Uh, right, right. <laughs> right. I I'm totally knew to that. Show. But yeah, I tell them that. Okay. Not bad. Mm. Mm. Yeah, he still uh, seems. Oh. Got a guess. Confused about the situation. Whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> the only one who doesn't seem much confused is Sevira, uh, like you, the, the headmistress. Sorry. She looks around that room. Um, yeah. Steps out of it, and uh, then. And she says, I'm almost certain that this seal was actually the layer of Lehman, and this was actually the hand of Vecna. Ah, right. Lehman. It is the little He's one. He's right there. Yeah. As, I, as we all point, it's that one over there, right? The Nothic. Without a hat, but still. Um, she seems to think now that the hand of Vecna is gone, this is actually something I how should, would you say this? Mm. For now, I do not want anyone here to talk about this incident. And I have to reach out to some people because this is now a problem of a higher magnitude. Yeah. Um, I guess they are headed outside again. You guys are. Well, I will make this short. The Tremler will ask you a few questions, but actually, he doesn't go that much in detail. But I guess at the end, he says, all the problem is, no matter what your guys' intention was, you, um, how should it not be your fault? How would he say that? Um, all that matters is you were involved that the hand of Vecna is now missing. So, there will be problems ahead of you. Uh, quick question, Argard. Yes. 
Who cured me of the curse previously? Mm. Good question. Remove because curse. I think it was either Tremlo or it was um, the the other one of two who was with you. The, the, the because the 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 if it was Tremla, and I just realized that it might have been, and I just realized I still have the fucking cursed wound on me, I will show that again to show that it was a Rakshasa. Or at least that it yeah. was something that can afflict a curse that was near identical. Was yeah. Um, we will make this short. Yes, he does remove the curse from you. Um, you guys are asked to show your belongings just to make sure none of you has the hand. What do you guys do? Um, um, um. Bongos, great axe, hand axe one, hand axe two, four javelins, explorer's pack, <laughs> hunter trap, traveling, oh no wait, the clothes I'm wearing, uh, a pouch with some cash in it, a trophy, I still don't know what the trophy is, but a trophy, the goblin knife. Uh, the items I'm wearing, okay, explorer's pack, I pluck out my hand, I'm just kidding. Uh, but 44 yeah. fish. <laughs> <laughs> Nine goblin I jerky, five hydra jerky. I, I want you just basically turn over your what's it called? Uh, glove glove holding. holding. Glove of holding. Just everything was off. I just realized. Yeah, I just fish everywhere. I just realized. Fish, pointy sticks. The last two items. Clap trap. Oh, and this choker of mind control that I. Grabbed from a corpse in this dungeon, you know. <laughs> totally not a dangerous uh, also artifact. Also, my glove of spellcasting. And there's the reverse skeleton key we have. Wait, we have a skeleton key? Yeah, we have a reverse, reverse skeleton. skeleton key. Oh, my oh, God, right. I should have used that to lock the door. So you you should have done that. <laughs> didn't we? No, no we didn't. But because it wouldn't matter. Our guard, because I, he knew I, the key. Out of character, I still remember the conversation where uh, yeah. Telford said he doesn't like playing wizard anymore, and he mm -hmm. wanted to change his character. And you had an idea to get rid of him. And was like mm -hmm. ah, and I just and it remember wasn't this idea. It was, dude, last time nothing went according to my plans, but yeah, I do not like this. Like, <laughs> oh, oh. Revenue, so we have to fall. we have to kill a gnome. <laughs> this one thinks it will oh. be easy. I like that you are like goddamn with this asshole. So you could have also thought that maybe he was kidnapped. You know? Nah, this one <laughs> no, just <stole>. never <laughs> ever. No, no, no. Oh, he's he's a, he will never be he's a he would have himself into some kind of stone and illusion and then just waited. <sighs> never. He would have turned um, himself in an extra leg from Ikara and hid there. Illusions. Anyway, when you unpack those items, they take a closer look at the magic items. Um, well, especially the, the stuff you took from Bigby. I guess there would actually be a stolen spellbook light, but um, we won't do <laughs> It's they just a book. You just care about the hand and don't look too much further about the other stuff. Eh, this and one does not He doesn't care it. about my glove. God, thanks. And uh, because Tremlo doesn't want more trouble about his day or just the, he waves through the other items. Well, I guess there's also an other book that seems weird to them. Even though it shuts his mouth for now. Um, Which Enzico. <laughs> Lenin already told them about oh, it. Oh, yeah, I, I said uh, I said I told them. I, I presented Etsyko to them. Oh, you did actually? Yeah, on the way back. We're like, yeah, also this guy. But I didn't like actually tell them to talk or just whatever. Like, they didn't have an interaction, I just showed it to them. Um. 
Okay. I guess they take him away from you for now. Hey, wait, no, 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 wait. Oh, wait, don't. No, okay. Ansel, go. Ansel. La, 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 la. Book, bro. Uh, <laughs> no, naughty book. Where are you taking Antico? I Did asked Tremlor. They are bringing him to the library. Yeah, try that. Uh, <laughs> there is nothing place to go. I feel like if you are bringing him anywhere close to the library, I am not responsible for anything that happens, okay? What happened to the library? Okay, but you can't be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Well, first. So we were I just clearing this dungeon. We were clearing this dungeon like a baller. <laughs> <laughs> and then this schmuck stole my book eating book. One of them put it in the library. But and I said, please don't do that. But we all know how that song and dance goes. And then he devoured the entire library. Anyway. He does devour the entire library. Oh, it would be fun I though. Guess. He'll try. For now, he uh, gives you the book back and the. Uh, I mean, this we had a little bit of time skip. You are not down there anymore. I guess they would actually make you hand over the items as soon as you left the place and everything. They are. Um, they have looked closer through the other parts of the or they are looking closer through the other parts of the I would call it dungeon whatever um yes and professor Iwum, the, well, the professor of divination her also comes back um she you she she actually tried out stuff that was still left from octo in his room Oh yeah, I guess I should tell you that it doesn't seem like he went back to his room before. Um, I mean, there have been. Be right back. I need to send a message in Discord. At Felford, fuck you. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, she says, "Well, as I as I thought, this crying." doesn't work even with possession of um, even with his possessions hair or whatever <laughs> anyway um, she then presents you how she is uh, you have three people uh, three bracelets they are all silver and have eyes engraved in them. What are those? Yeah. She tells you... Um, how does she tell this? Mm. This, um, the school ca uh, still can't be sure that you are not somehow still involved in this or would still side with your friends Octo so you are actually put under surveillance and wait wait just to get this clear yes we stop a Rakshasa from stealing the cloth we stop a fucking half half human half spider from stealing the claw. We then inform all of you that there is a dungeon under the school with pro uh, and there was we probably talked to Leamond. You stole our book mimic and then you still put us under surveillance for not believing us. So it's a bracelet, right? Yes. Human sized? Fair enough. Ah, this uh, one needed a new it's assassin. It's material, go fuck off. This one needed <laughs> a new bracelet. No, wait, this is too small. This one needed a new tail ring. Thank you! <laughs> I mockingly say. Oh yeah, sure, you put it on your tail, whatever. 
Your school, this school really needs better rules. <laughs> okay, then I will say you from the other side of this perspective. You told something is going on down there, and when you went down here, this very important artifact is missing. There, um, that important artifact that you guys shouldn't even know about, that place you shouldn't even know about. The place where you went be, uh, without telling anyone. Oh, right. Um, that page is missing. And now the friend of yours is missing with that specific head. And all there down there is the corpse of a spider. And you're telling some story from a Rakshasa. Though they don't know if you what you actually killed down there, if you actually killed something down there, what was going on down there. But of course, you did go up and tell them, so obviously that's a point for you. But yeah, it's all still weird. And yeah, what she's saying you, you will be put under surveillance for now, just in case he contacts you or there's somehow an other possibility that there okay, was let me just... followers of Vec now, well, I guess you would have told them, right? <sighs> that either a demon or a drow. The problem is with all of this... Trying to influence you in some way. Problem with all of this is... Why would we come to even tell you in the first place that we found the hand? If we're just gonna keep it and seal it anyway. Well, as I said, it's hard to see, but you know. it doesn't just okay. does not make okay. sense. These one uh, things they uh, do, do not trust me. It's because I, I like it really is, it's understandable. It's because I'm a cat. It's because I am a tabaxi, no. isn't it? No. no is it not. because I have a tail? <laughs> These one things it's because of the axe. We would make perfect spies if we just want to see what they're about to do if we stay okay. here. So it's we are also whispering very loudly. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. I have an yeah. idea. I, I, I have something I want to t tell it to, but I just I'll wait till the uh, till the professors are gone. <laughs> While we have security bracelets. Well, fair Any, enough. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Uh, then I okay. just tell him she like, tells, okay, then okay. let's be. She tells you to put them on. She also tells you that the headmistress is currently talking to. Uh, just now, how would I say this? Uh, other people of her uh, kind. How would he say? Actually, Rank. She actually, use the name to. No, how could she say? Of her status? No, actually, I guess, yeah. You know what? She would say she's talking to the other pillars. Trust me, I will explain uh, later. I, I get what you mean. Really? Anyway. Yeah, pillars uh, of the empire. I know, I get what And it has been decided that this, for now, has to be... Um, uh, has to be kept a secret. So this is also, the surveillance is also to ensure that you do not talk to anyone about this and it won't be for uh, a long time. There has been a request for, um, how should I say this? Uh, a member of the, how would I say, would she say this? Uh, a member of the church who has um, who is taken an oath to only speak the truth, who is officially recognized to use a spell that can ensure to um, that suspects tell the truth. So probably you will be questioned by those. Uh, you will be questioned again. And yeah, and then Most everything uh, further will be decided from there. But this and one is. Tabaxi is innocent. 
of this crime. <laughs> like he's innocent of this crime. You just see Leyland just turn around, kick a stone, but like most prestigious academy in the land, my ass. How how long will it take until this dude arrives? <laughs> this dude. <laughs> this dude. <laughs> this dude. <laughs> no, this guy. I would jump five days later and we can make four days. About a few. Four days. Okay. About a few. Leyland is fucking. Mad now. Four days. It is until. Alright. And hey, you guys, you know what? You have a bit of downtime. Congratulations, you level up. <laughs> you don't have to Neat. level up right now, but yeah, that's basically what's gonna so happen. So, what did I use? Okay, guys, I have a good idea. We all say fuck you to this academy, just go off, level up to level 20, come back, and raise this academy to the ground. <laughs> nah, this one has a Not better. My plan. This one has a better idea. These these one I has really a like name, and this one has a has a cool, very useful item waiting for him. Anyway, um, Run. I w won't actually end the session there. I'm just saying that would be the time you level up. So. I would actually. I mean, I mean for, for me, it's just it's ASIs not, it hasn't anyway. Been that much time yet, so I would actually continue with the questioning trial, whatever. But you can tell me what you want to do. The, oh, first of all, do you put on the bracelet? Yes, on my tail because it doesn't fit on you my arms that. or fingers. Yes, I've put it on. And later? Well, you don't have any other choice, of course. Okay. I mean. You could have shoved it in the glove of holding. Be an asshole and then uh, be like, no, I'm not going to put this on and they would actually have to use force or something. Yeah, they put a choke yeah, on you instead. Like this is... why the fuck do <laughs> we have to do this? Just... Anyway. I've been previously told to keep silence about the Rakshasa incident. Well, this one... And we kept quiet, but now you suddenly don't trust us? Well, uh, this one thinks <laughs> that they are just uh, very racist towards the backseat. I want a fucking I want a fucking apology later. <laughs> like Layla is fucking mad at this. Like, okay. I think they're reasonable, but you keep on to your race. This one now finally has time to make a proper totem. Um, also, uh, late in after a day or so, you stop hearing animals. Oh yeah, right. Mm. Okay. As I said, I guess in theory you would level up, but tr um, obviously it feels weird that probably every step you take, every word you say could be... Uh, they're doing um, the... well, recorded by the NSA, uh, sorry, by... listened to by the school. Oh, right? You don't actually know who this Someone somewhere probably is watching us through the bracelets. Okay, Asa, then please don't do any inappropriate things. <laughs> How dare you assume that I would do that? <laughs> so we're gonna do another distraction, right? Naked through the library? Okay, guys, we have two options. The professor is gone, right? Like, who is just... gone? Yeah, we're in the downtown. Okay, we have two options. So we can now be. Yeah. We can now just do whatever the fucking shit we want and just completely mess whoever is watching us. Or we can just be very petty students and not do anything now and ah. just have them deal with this shit on their own because apparently. Just the most powerful most powerful spell cast in this time can't keep a fucking rakshasa off the grounds and has to leave it to a few to a small group of students to uh, get rid of to, this problem to, to oh, be you honest you could get rid of this problem good to know to be to be honest Leyland, i think 
Octo is the bigger asshole here. Really. He just fucked us with that. Don't be mad at the Academy. Oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll give him a, an ass whooping when, uh, when I meet him. Don't yeah. worry about that. By the way, this one has an idea. You said you wanted to annoy the person watching us, right? <laughs> what do you have in mind? Well, this one has this magic item from the Bixby area. Yeah, all the we need... All we need is earplugs. <laughs> <laughs> and this one will charge the clap trap and let it clap. Okay. For a week. How do we get that? Okay, we go to the city and buy earplugs now. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> we're gonna do this. Fuck it. We're gonna be the most assholes now. Like, we have nothing to lose. <laughs> Um, I guess earplugs in those times would be like resin, I guess, or something like that. Add magic. Fuck, uh, fuck, like... Fucking yeah, wine oh, plugs. Wax. No, you cork. Yeah, that's that's, that's a bit too big. Well, except for maybe lost some. We could use some corks. Uh, corks and then uh, <laughs> wine bottles and then just put a bit of wax around it. Yup. <laughs> This one cannot hear you. What are you saying? Oh yeah. That guess that would also be a side effect. Of... Well, then again, I'm having the claptrap on thunderous applause. Um, where are we doing this? Yes. I... <laughs> How about the library? Oh yes. The library, the graveyard, home, wherever. Honestly, the graveyard. we're just gonna carry it with us into the school all the time. Fuck yeah! I can hear it. I'm fine. Uh, no, well, uh, I don't think you guys. We we. We gotta be the most we, uh, biggest. We we are mad at the teachers, not at the students, and I think. Yeah, you're right. I'll just stay at home. Will kill us. I'll just stay at home. Even there, they would kill us. Well, Marsh won't kill me. Trust me. He's still searching for his missing drugs. Exactly. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Actually, I. When they look through your belongings, they are not going to take. No, no, we we took all. <laughs> no, 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 that's the, the no, 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 no Argard, Argard. That's ah, the that's shit. Sh sh guys, guys, that's the beauty. Velvet had the drugs. No, I had them in your bag of holding, so just don't pull them out. They can't pull things out that they don't know are in there. Uh, or you turn it inside out, then everything drops out. Well, yeah, but that's only if you are stupid enough to say empty. I think they know how this works, and I have to say empty. Yeah, but... Nah. Nah. Nah, you just showed I mean, us... when you showed them your belongings, did you actually turn... Uh, turn the bag of holding? Uh, and no, I, 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 to be sure fair... You would actually notice those mushrooms, if there is literally a ton of fish in there. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're hidden in the... Don't worry about it. <laughs> I mean, as soon as he turns this thing around and a splush of fish comes out, they will be like, put it back, put it back, never mind. Yeah, because <laughs> if it comes out in the order you shoved it in, then it's mushrooms covered in fish. Hmm. No, it, it's the other way around, but still. I think he sees this as upside down, like the last thing you put in would be at the bottom. Oh, uh, no, first, oh, right. FIFO. First in, first, yeah. no, wait. Not FIFO, it's the other yeah. one. LIFO. Last in, first out. Or... Yeah. All right. A stack. Yeah, a stack. Whatever. <laughs> Q, whatever. Yeah. I don't know how... They, know, they, they didn't notice the drugs. Works in... <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is nowhere to find. They didn't find the drugs. Do you have any magical items in your bag? I'm following. Like, uh, we'll go to that later. 
whatever. I, I have books, arcana books, and scrolls, and stuff like that. And... So no, no magic and items. And the No. Basically not. And, like, a shit ton of garlic. So. Anyway, yeah, as I said, I'll just stay uh, at home with the claptrap on Thunderous Applause, <laughs> annoying whoever's listening to the the bracelet. Uh, yeah. Um, Mush seems a bit concerned about you guys. Uh, but when he, oh, she says. I guess uh, he sees that you are in a bad mood and just. <laughs> I guess he would actually come up to you guys and uh, would try to talk to you about what's going on. When he tries, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going to write it on a piece of paper. A, a situation. What do you write on a piece of paper? Under surveillance, annoying surveillance man, sorry. <laughs> And then I point you... to the bracelet that's currently on my tail. Um, yeah. When he takes the note, he stops talking and says, Oh, did I say I can help you out with drugs? I mean, herbs, medicine, like uh, like tea. I I'm fine. I guess he wouldn't say it like that. He would say, Oh, man, did I say drugs? Oh, I mean, uh, medicine, her herbs, uh, like tea to calm down your nerves. But yeah, I mean, uh, the, bye, I'm, guys. I, did, I, I didn't mean anything on me, God. Just something to take the edge off. You seemed like you had a <laughs> headache. <laughs> An aspirin. A healing potion. Something to undeafen you. Well, well, he goes out the door and makes a sign for good luck, and uh, yeah. Um. By the way, would have thought Song shared the uh, information about the hand of Ekna by now with us. Who has shared what? The song, the identify thing. Like uh, we still don't know what the fuck it does. Have you? No. <laughs> I was asleep. Oh. That it was stolen. It doesn't matter, right? It yeah, doesn't know. matter now. What can I mean, Ultra do? So, sorry, I can't hear you, and you can't hear me. Something with claptrap at max power. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I'm well, writing you a note. What can Ultra do? Are we gonna do power it with, with spell? Attack? With spell thoughts? Yes, right. No, so... that's only for attack. Uh... The uh, thunderous applause applause is just a bonus action to just. Be loud as fuck. Uh, the game is fucking on now. And, is and otherwise, yes, it would be spell slots. But one spell slot is enough to deal uh, damage, so. Can be any level. Wait, did you tell them something? Sorry. We were still talking about the claptrap. About how oh, yeah. it can be charged. Okay. But yeah, not telling anything about Vecna. They didn't ask. Sure. Okay. Um, what else? Eating jerky. I guess. <laughs> I'm offering you guys jerky. I take it. We are eating I take it normal turkey like normal students. <laughs> did, did you also take one nacho? Well, to thunderous applause. This does not taste like goblin. <laughs> oh shit, you're looking at my character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> no. I no, you did that. guess correctly. I don't remember where the fucking turkey hey. came from. Hey, I also made hydra jerky. Fair enough. But yes, it's first a goblin jerky because that's the oldest. 
pretty sure you also still have a bunch of garlic. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Sixteen bulbs. Yeah. <laughs> See, we have plenty of food. We'll survive this for four days. Can the surveillance guy? Actually, that's How a good idea to How far does the surveillance go? go the garlic smell. <laughs> does, does the surveillance person smell what she we are? Only, she told you with this um, you can be listened to and you. It's, it's AV. Basically, it's basically okay, like, okay. so what okay. you would know is it's listen and uh, see. It's Agar? like these little boxes in the bottom of our screen. Agar, are the eyes in the bracelet like moving? Like, do they seem like they're moving? No, they just seem to be engraved. Okay. I thought I said poke the eyes. <laughs> do it anyway. Just to make okay, sure. Okay, poke the eyes. <laughs> Put just like tape poke, around it in poke, case it's just like poke, cameras poke. on it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I hope it's not cameras on it because lost some put it on his tail. <laughs> Dead ass. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> then you're going to turn it. Oh no. Anyway. I mean, how resistant are the uh is is are the uh, buildings in the school to magic? What? How resistant are the buildings in the school to magic? Probably oh, pretty know? much. Why? See, I have three level three fi uh, level three spell slots, and I only know fireball, and I'm very bored for a week. So mm, my character baby. might have gone, might have some ideas. I don't know you. I, I don't know Leyland's logic in that. Sorry. He's getting bored for sitting in the room. With his ears plugged for for about a week straight. Four or five days. Yeah. A week or four days. About a week. Anyway. Here I am using I a goblin knife to them, carve so a bear. I'm... So if you don't want to burn the school down or anything, I would actually like to skip now to well, four five. To the interrogation. <laughs> Oh yeah, I want to see who's gonna be hurt for the fucking noise. What you? Oh, who's hurt? gonna have like be like uh, who is nearly deaf from all the noise? You've been doing this for five days. Uh, do you know what I had to endure? <laughs> if that's gonna be your judge, you're gonna he will hate you. <laughs> yes, I don't fucking care. Ah, yes, please. But uh, like, did we do anything illegal? No, they want us. They want us. They want to watch us. Uh, they gotta get it. Okay, so do you have anything planned, uh, Lyot? No, not really. Just reading up on stuff, learning a little bit. Reading all those stolen books. Yeah, well, I could study the spellbook I stole. You're right. Uh, let's see, Hajo is messing around with magic. Uh, I will write down uh, the spells that were in there later. I haven't done it yet. Because just because I'm, I'm fucking okay. bored, I'm gonna magic. cast fireball. Like just when I just when I'm really bored, just gonna cast fireball. Just right straight up into there. I just make some nice sky. Just to make some nice explosion. Give them some Weird. firework. At the best, at the middle of the night. You wanna Wait, fireworks? Let, let rain down fire from the sky. No, no fire I'm bolts. gonna cast fireball at like the middle of the night to have some nice explosions. And just he's, to mess with he's just shooting like fire bolts in the sky because he's bored and he wants to show the fire he's... bolts or fire balls. Balls. Oh dear. I couldn't tell what you said. Yeah, when he's doing with that, I'm also... With with RTT. With what? Balls. Balls! Okay, Lick my but... balls! Lick my... Ah, okay, but... <laughs> but, okay. I'm not actually sure how would fire I'm gonna balls. rename this shoot it straight fucking up. spell now. You're gonna rename it to Lick my... <laughs> Lick my fireball. <laughs> I mean, I also have the fire ball, if you remember correctly. Uh, there was the yeah, so... Uh, 
No, if he's shooting them in the sky and you think gravity might affect them, then no. I I will They're just explode in the sky. Why not twenty feet up in the sky? Then I will cast pyrotechnics on them. Wait. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Actual ball. fire, to fire. Take my ball. Ligama. What's ligama? Oh yeah, I, oh, I can't. Nice. Tot I can totally spell. Pyrotechnics. <laughs> Actual fucking fireworks. <laughs> okay, you make fireballs. You have a lot of a lot of noisy. Clap trap thingy going on. Explosions, clapping, everything is annoying. Anyway. Oh, uh, we're doing yeah. this in the middle of the night as well. Oh, yeah. In the graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> See, the dead won't be bothered by it. Mush might be, but. <laughs> oh, right. Right. Anyway. Um. Five days later. Hey, hey. Do all this. About that, I get to roll. Oh shit, do that. <laughs> ah shit. No, I have fire ball. Ball, ball, ball. Nine. Add the D one hundred. And the thirty-nine. <laughs> okay. Twelve. Alright. Four to nine, moderate. And it's a thirty-nine. Yep, yeah, that one. Um, you know what? I got just gonna tell you that. Oh. Well. Yeah, I'm gonna do some acrobatics and shit. Do you feel like you... I don't know. Are a bit more dexterous? <laughs> you feel light on your feet, uh... Your sense of balance improved. You know the usual deck shit. You feel sneakier. <laughs> Did my decks really improve? Let's see. Acrobatics! See, see it becoming at one? Hmm. Ah, shit. Not really. You hear light laughing inside. <laughs> <laughs> How? You are still our, shit! Our ears <laughs> are plugged. <laughs> How do we hear? There's so much loud noises. Uh, do you want to try this again, but with a bigger fireball? As I just strap on the glove? No. No. Aww. I'm not. Argard wants to jump to the trial. I don't know. If okay, you just trial, yourself trial. before then, it's gonna be funny as well. Look, otherwise I'm just gonna randomly throw javelins. Just gonna throw javelins at the wall. <laughs> oh yeah, throw. I'll throw a javelin straight at the wall where... Uh... Ah, fuck, okay, just a wall of our dorm. Yeet! I said, basically you're like, okay, if they look at this, like from a third... Camera, like third person perspective, if I just throw, throw javelins around randomly, maybe it will look like it's coming for them. And then... <laughs> yes, so <laughs> javelin to the wall. Why? Just because I can. Okay. I have four of them. <laughs> you miss? No, just kidding. <laughs> it's a wall with AC of 20. Dodgy, it bounces <laughs> off and flips it back in your face. You take six damage <laughs> and you lose an eye. No, you chip your javelin, I guess. But, but is it in the wall? Afterwards. What wall? One of the dorm walls. <laughs> he basically goes through. <laughs> Neat. You have a pretty run down dorm. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Penetration! <laughs> it's not like there are magic spells or something against it. It's Good thing you point. didn't cast your magic inside, Hajo. What do you mean? <laughs> well, if my regular ass javelin just pierced a wall. Yeah. I'm more, um. Pop worried poison. about the ceiling and not about the wall. I think you guys would be pretty fucked if you just 
shot a fireball straight up in a close room. Something anyway. with 20 feet range, right? <laughs> anyway. Five days later, you guys are told to meet at... Good question, where would they have that? I don't know. In a building you haven't been... No, actually in one of the buildings inside the wall you haven't been in yet. It just seems like um, the guy who's telling you to come over seems like just a normal runner. Uh, normal... How would you say that? You know what I mean. Messenger. Do we like understand him? With, with the claptrap and with the sealed ears Who's and everything. Hashtag? Of course. They didn't tell us to stop. I'm just going to continue until the very last second. Yeah. Okay. Then he's trying really hard to... Hello? Can you turn it off? Hello? H hello? Hello? Ah, I, I just have to do... I was told to get... Oh. First things first. I fold my ear inside out and pop out the cork. Uh, uh, what say? <laughs> <laughs> this one had his ears plugged. Uh, what was you? Uh, what were you saying to this one? While well, the claptrap uh, clap trap is still going. <laughs> okay. Then he's like, I was told to get you to. Uh, whatever this, uh, what would the application be? Uh, whatever. I was told to get you. Please come with me. Hello. Ah, I disable the clap trap. <laughs> and... I just, I was, I just take out my plugs. So like, we we'll finally get that. Finally gonna meet them. Yeah, this one, uh, this messenger just told this one that. We were supposed to follow that one. Oh, As I, I fold my other ear in, in when I flip my other ear inside out and pop out the second cork. <laughs> he seems to have trouble hearing you. Is he like what? what? Because he's still a bit deaf from the <laughs> very loud noise of the. Oh god! Pop. If he is like a little bit deaf from like a few seconds, oh boy! Will the others have fun with it? Okay. Anyway, uh, you are follow you, him. Are you also, uh, did you also pull out your earplugs, Lyot? No, I didn't. <laughs> it's gotta be Waving in front of Lyot's eyes. <laughs> and making the movement of pulling earplugs out. No. Okay. I'm, okay. Do okay. you still follow the guy? Yes, yes I follow him. <laughs> I was about to grapple you. Follow him. He takes you to the building, well, near the quest house, whatever. Um, as you go in there, there is. Uh, okay, who would actually be in there? Um, you are greeted like, by a paladin. A female human. She doesn't seem to be in her. Um, how should I say? She's not in complete plate mail or something. Uh, she's a bit of like J mail or something on, but she doesn't. It doesn't seem to be that like. How should I say? It seems to for her be more of a uh, casual clothing or what should I say? And how would I say this right? Um, she doesn't seem to be armored up. Okay, let's say it like this. It looks naturally natural. She doesn't seem like she's heading into battle. Like say like this is, she doesn't have a weapon or something on her. Anyway. Then we have uh who um I think who would I guess in one corner you would see Yeah, actually I guess you would uh the head Sorry, I have to think, would the headmistress be there or no, you know what? Actually, the the one who put you the uh, the bracelets on, uh, the Satiko uh, Iruma, the, the 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 divination one, that one, oh, damn it. that one would also be there, just sitting in the corner, <laughs> I guess, uh, waving to you as you walk in. Um, you see, 
a halfling sitting at a corner who has just a bunch of paper in front of him, who has uh, a bit of um, stuff for writing. So, better and someone that would get robbed by a uh, felfit. <laughs> yeah, if he didn't already rob something. Uh, yeah. And then you see also more towards the end of the room on a small podest, um, an, an old human. Um, seems a bit of, seems around in his 50s, he's balding, has horn rimmed glasses on. Yeah. Um, the paladin introduces herself as Gwyneth, justice seeker. The, scribe does actually uh introduce himself because he's still busy with his papers sorting something hectically and uh, the human at the end actually produce says well i will be your somewhat of a judge today my name is matthew wallace and i will well, asking you some questions while my friend here um, points to what? Oh no, sorry. While I wouldn't say friend. Assistant. While my yeah. associate. In my my associate. Slave. Here, it's my slave. <laughs> my associate here will provide a spell that makes it for uh, that. How do we say this? Um, will you use a spell that? God damn it! How could you say it? Will aid in the what process. Huh? That will make you say the truth. Whatever. Yeah, will aid in the process of zone judging. Of truth. Yeah, it's zone of truth. Yeah, we all know it's zone of truth. <laughs> I mean, it sure is not glimpsed. Eh. Not casting an eighth level spell. <laughs> And those are basically the only two spells I know of that makes you say the truth. So... No, anyway. Now what? Um, first of all, I guess the Sachiko also comes, uh, sorry, the, the Divination Dean also comes to you and tells you that you can put off, uh, uh, that you can remove, remove the bracelets. They won't be needed any further. <laughs> also, she chuckles a bit and says, um, how should I say this? Mm. <laughs> Thanks to you, we have now a blind person with deaf uh, subordinates. <laughs> <laughs> but she doesn't seem to be bothered by it. <laughs> ah, so it's literally the blind leading the deaf. <laughs> yeah, she laughs a little bit. Yeah. But I kind of felt like that um, even before. Um, I felt uh, like this for a long time, for now. Oh no, I guess she would actually say, I feel more like, uh, for me, it's mostly been the blind um, leading the more blind. Understandable. Uh, anyway. This, this one does not... Uh, this one's arms are not long enough to pull the bracelet off the tail. <laughs> this one needs a bit of help. <laughs> Lion, Leland, please. Light doesn't hear you. Uh, no. Do I, but I see that Leyland is pulling his present off, then, don't I? Yeah. So I pull my one, mine one too. And, I, and you see me chasing my tail. And yeah. I'd be like, ah, stop it, you idiot! If they just rip it off his tail. Ah, thank you. My apologies, my arms are short. And then just like, I hold in my hand. I think about a second, realization dawns, and then I yeet it away. Yeet? <laughs> Yo, yeet. Do you scream yeet while doing that? 
Um, the paladin loses every respect for you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway. Um... Um, before we begin the, the judge, yeah, we'll just call him judge for now. The judge says, um, please remove um, every magical item that might, um, how should I say this? Interfere. Interfere with the spell. He sees me just pulling up my eye. You do that. <laughs> do you? I mean, it, it, it's your fucking spell focus now that I think about it. And it's magical, so yes, I remove it if you want to do it. I just like. I put down. Like I put down. Out. I yeah. put down my bongos, and on top of them, I put the clap trap. Which I make a, a small, slow clap come out of. <laughs> I put down my sp I put down the glove of spell casting and my eye. I think I would realize that they put down magical items, so I put down the dagger and the glove of holding. What dagger? I put something on the ground, <laughs> and it looks like a dagger if it's like. What's your spell casting focus? Do you have mid That's a good question. I don't make much of the rules with you. Um, I know you have to have it in your hand and switching. You know the whole point why there is the uh, crystal of the war mage thing. Wait, do you have that? That's a good question. That's a good question. You can't cast spells, right? Did we actually oversee that? I mean, you well, have a component pouch, do you? I have a component pouch, I think, yes. Oh, then that's your spellcasting focus, or the equivalent to that. It's either you have spellcasting focus or you have a component pouch. I think I have one, I just forgot to put it in there, because I had to... Mm -hmm. I think I ch uh, got it while... Uh, when choosing. But, no, I didn't... Yeah, I have a look at that. when would you get that? Because there would be something I wouldn't, you I only to, get I would after to becoming an uh, arcane trickster. Because before that, the rogue doesn't have that, right? Yeah, that's anyway, why it's not in the... Yeah, I just added. And yeah, you I put added. your... I guess you could put your component pouch in there, whatever. And your bag of holding, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. So put down component pouch, bag of holding, and uh, the bag. Okay. Uh, Lately, do you have what's his name? Enzico with you? They took it away from me. Oh yeah, they took it away. I'm sorry. You know what? On the stuff where you uh, on the table where you put all your stuff, uh, you also see that there's already um, the, that Enzico is actually laying on there. Though with actually a belt buckle around, so it does open. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So let us begin. Says the judge, not towards the paladin, and you see the paladin casting a spell. Um, well, son of truth is actually a saving throw. And I'm trying to remember correctly, it is a what saving throw? Um, I don't know, but you can choose to, you can choose to fail saving throws, I guess. You feel like there is some magic trying to, you know, wisdom or, or charisma. That's probably wisdom. One of the two. I can look it up if you actually want to try to make the uh, saving throw. Obviously, light is not. Wait, actually, is it? Let me check something. Um, zone of Truth. You create a magical zone. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Point range until the spell ends. A creature that enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn must make a charisma saving charisma. 
A failsafe creature can't speak a deliberate lie within the radius. Want us to make charisma saves? Oh boy! We well, don't gonna... have to make. You can obviously just. You can say, uh, "I fail my. Say, uh, I want to fail." Like. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, that's a net one, by the way. Also, why the fuck did I put that with advantage? Sorry. Uh, yeah. Almost. Anyway. I just failed. That yeah, that's a net one. I also failed. Yeah, uh, so I said, you actually try to not. Isn't it natural to protect yourself against magic? I mean, it's not like I'm gonna lie, because I'll still notice, but... Yeah. Anyway, the paladin realizes, though... I mean, that's the point of the spell. They, this cast does realize who is affected by it and who it isn't. And basically, an affected creature is aware of the spell and can thus avoid answering questions to which it would normally respond with a lie. Mm. And yeah, such creatures can be evasive in, uh, in its answers as long as it remains within the boundaries of the truth. And the other one on a fails, also on a fail safe, a creature can speak a deliberate lie. Yeah, but, oh, you know whether each creature succeeds or fails on its saving throw. So the paladin does know that Lost Song actually is not affected by it right now. Uh, so the paladin does look at you and says, <clears throat> Please do not resist um, the spell. But this one does not resist. It is second nature. For you see. <sighs> Beasts also know the magics. It is a good thing to always be aware. You are during this trial still allowed to um, withhold an answer. You are just not allowed to lie. And this one has no reason to. Yes, then why... What is your reason to go against this spell? Uh, what is the reason that you wear clothing? Is it not in your nature? <laughs> um, by Dis insert god name here just please <laughs> What's, uh, the... this one would never uh, tell a lie yeah she doesn't care <laughs> <laughs> okay maybe a little <laughs> no she, she just <laughs> She's getting a bit angry, Chase. Uh, Did you say anger? Uh, I can do anger. <laughs> no, she's, she's getting a bit angry. It's like, my name is Queen of Justice Seeker, and I am a member of the Order of the Scarlet Sun. And my job here is to ensure. Ed, all suspects are telling the truth, so I will not warn you again. Do not ta um, take me lightly and make my job any harder. Do we understand each other? I mean, I understand you, but do you understand me? I will cast the spell again. You do realize that you are not helping your cause by resisting. I mean, well, <laughs> this one knows, but this one also has the, uh, how does this one say? Ah, right. This one does not win if he wins or loses. No, that is not correct. I don't know what the fuck. She's just <laughs> taking her hands and <laughs> casting the spell again. All of you three feel that this spell again. I mean, you can again choose to do a saving throw or choose to fail. 
I'm quite confused. Yeah, you just wait, wait, wait. Is around, is is zone is zone of truth? Is it a uh, it semantic or wrong? verbal spell? What? What's it doesn't the... matter. It's a zone. It's, it's not a uh, and like a song. Of... To cast it, it's not like only creatures that can hear it are. Affected. Yeah. It, it, there's a zone, and I should say this, but it's a. I mean, how big is the zone again? It's a 15 foot radius. Yeah, so 30 so, feet zone. I guess you could maybe get out of there if you go to the wall of the room, but yeah, but I mean, you don't exactly know where the start of it is, but they obviously would realize if you just go outside. So, do you choose to fail? I, I, I rolled my charisma oh. already. Oh, you did? Yeah. I chose That's to fail again. Okay, and Leilin, you also chose to fail? Yeah. Okay. Then she nods. Okay, finally. All of those three are now bound to tell the truth. This one does not I like this. I can assure this by my name. In a club, Oxygen, and she says something that looks like it's recited from a book or something. Like, mm. uh that I can assure as in the name of his blah 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 And I'm Carmen San Diego. Guess where I am <laughs> You can't say that it wouldn't be a truth. It's not a lie. Wait what? <laughs> <laughs> it's a I mean, joke, it's a reference. It's not like I'm actually called Carmen San Diego. <laughs> it's also more for the people that do I, understand I, Helsing I, Ultimate. <laughs> I would can you uh, that would be funny, like, okay, and, and from now on, then they just address you as Carmen San Diego. Because <laughs> for some reason, Lost Song's middle name is Carmen San Diego. Lost, Lost Carmen, Carmen San, San Diego, Diego song. <laughs> I mean, Lost Carmen San Diego is kind of fitting, to be fair. <laughs> nah, I'll just, instead of saying Carmen San Diego, and I'm Lost Song, guess where I am? Anyway. Okay. You see the judge and Lost Song and Leilin, you hear him say the following. How did you know oh, sorry, how did you know about the location of um how we say it of that artifact? Yeah. We don't know the artifact. You know, we the artifact. Were... No. We knew we... the location we... of the artifact. No, no, no. We currently do not know it. We knew the location. Oh, yeah. We didn't know that it was the location of the artifact, not specifically Vecna's hand. But we knew of the locate. It depends on how we interpret the question. I'm going to interpret it as: How did you know of the location? Okay. We were told by the Nautic. Which he follows up with: What Nautic? Liamond. How did you know of such a nothing called Liam? How did it happen again? We were... <laughs> no, I'm... I've completely not paid attention to the entire introduction, so... Uh, didn't we get the information from the Elder, uh... Zenli? Oh, shit! After breaking into the library, you mean? Yeah. But... Yes. <laughs> what do you actually say to the person? Well, like, I'm not, did I'm we not actually able get to... the location of the uh, of Lehman from there. We got no, we got the page no, from Vecna. He Vecna. was asking how. No, we responded to how did you know the location? How did you find? Oh, no. The location we got Wait, from like... the Nautic. Which Nautic? Yeah. Lehman. Yeah. How were you told of the Nautic? It was uh, not but... via the page, and not via the Zandy, right? Uh, basically, how did I say? How were you told about it? How did you find? How did you? He contacted us, didn't he? Yeah, I think he p took uh, our attention. Yes, he contacted okay, us to, and told us to meet him at the graveyard. Uh, at this point, I also removed my earplugs because I thought this was going differently, and I wanted to. 
she looks uh no she i guess she also the uh, female paladin looks confused as you pull out wax from your ear <laughs> um, sorry and... forgot about that Let's yeah. go on. Okay. Um, so you met this Nothic at the graveyard. Yes. Okay. And how is this? And um, why were you at the, that graveyard? We were bored. We wanted something no, to no. do. Actually, that's not no, no, true. No, 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 no. Were we high? We, we got a note. We got a note to go yeah. to the graveyard, didn't we? Yes, from the nothing to do. So yeah. why did we go there? Because, well, we were invited. Uh, yeah. <laughs> do you have any idea why this nothing invited you? Did he explain? Yes. I mean, you know why, but go ahead. Uh, I just say yes. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, wait, wait, my question was why. I guess do, you know do you why know why he you know invited why? you? Yes. yes. Okay, care to elaborate? No! No! I really don't <laughs> care! <laughs> No. Um, well, okay. we heard about him, that he was called the Collector, and uh, that we had to get his attention somehow, and we wrote a message into the sky. Then he wrote us the message. <laughs> right, we did that. We made very, very high amounts of distractions, like Skyride. <laughs> Ah, yes. Uh, you hear uh, you hear, I will call you Sachiko for now. Uh, the the mm -hmm. divination. Uh, divination team. She says, well, there were some accidents. With, uh, not accidents. Uh, incidents with writing in the sky. Well, at least so I was told. And <laughs> yeah. I didn't see them myself, I guess. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Okay. Um, I guess you answered that. Okay. Have you told anyone about the hand before you went? Uh, or sorry, how would you say? Did you tell anyone that you would? Um, go to the place pointed out by the Nothic no. before you went down there. No. Uh, we didn't tell no. much. If you includes all uh, three and Octo, then no. Okay. Yeah, that's the truth. Uh, did you tell hmm. anyone you were going there? No. No. Uh, that's also the truth. No ifs or buts. We didn't tell anyone. Okay. Um, after this, um, did this nothing? Uh, uh, why did you not tell anyone that you would go down there after you heard from Olam? How should I say this? After you've been told the location by that nothing. Um, why did you go down there? Yeah, actually, yeah. Why did you go down there? We considered it a job. No need to spread information that can give you a pretty penny, right? Did the Nothic offer you payment? I believe he did. No, actually, you offered him payment. No. Wait, we... You were yeah, we him. offered him... Yeah. For the information. Yeah, the the glow. No, I did not promise that. I was gonna beat the shit out of him for loot. 
but before and we 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 arranged that uh, we gave him the glove or some some kind of glove. <laughs> no, Leland's glove. Leland's glove. Let's just call it that. I... Some kind of glove. Some... Oh yeah, sorry. That's what I exactly was saying. Never mind. I had trouble with uh, differentiating what was incoherent and what wasn't. <laughs> okay. Then his next question would probably be. What is your connection to the followers of Wegner or Law? We do not have any connection. I think we beat the shit out of them a few times. Okay, what he says. We do not have any positive, positive. relationship to them. The, are the people we defeated or rather beat up. <laughs> Massacred. <laughs> we do not really know if they are the followers of Wigner, but I assume so much... by the spider. Yeah, thing. we can very much assume so as the Arxas was very much after the end. Mm -hmm. When you say that, Leyland, the paladin steps a bit in front of you and looks uh, uh, studying your face. And My saying... one eye. She's saying to you, do you. You have, um, would you say this? Do you ha really have no connections to the drow? I tried to bang one, <laughs> and no. then she then she tried to kill me. So accidents happen. <laughs> we met the drow in another dungeon. She was different at the time. She was still a, still. A, it's still an actual elf. As, 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 she uh, as, as, human. as we tried to interrogate her about how she appeared there and such, and when she tried to run away, I tried to scare her with a firebolt, and I may or may not have, have blown her hat off. You hear the chat say, <clears throat> um, how would he say, mm, Miss, Miss Justice Seeker? I don't know. How would you? How would you call it? Just the just car. Um, please leave the questions to me and sh she puts in one more, even though this may seem a bit out of the way. Um, and she asks you, Leyland, who are your parents? Huh. Good one. Best for me to find out. I was raised in the Feywilds by elves. Hmm. I know as much about my parents as you do. She goes away and says, I see. Uh, excuse me, <clears throat> I will keep silent for now. And yeah, the judge continues. I guess the most important question now, but I uh, don't believe there will be much will be many answers. Do you know where Octo is? No. Well, no. try to uh, locate him with divination magic from the most powerful uh, divination spellcaster within the school currently, and she did not find him. So I doubt we do not know. We know where he is. So no, I do not know it. When you say the mightiest divination spellcaster, you see, hear such a corn, you can't, oh, you don't have <laughs> Flattery will not bring you justice. Flattery won't get you anywhere. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> so. Have you any idea why your friend? He's a klepto. It is a kleptomaniac. <laughs> he steals everything. He steals everything for spell components. Yeah, just as spell. So I do not actually suspect that he is using the hand. He's just like more carrying it with her, uh, around him. Or the hand's but... carrying him. Depends on how evil it actually is. It didn't show me everything. What my furry friend here says. Hmm. Did he make any? Houses. Were there any signs that he would take the hand? No. I mean, these two, wanted, really. these two wanted to. I just wanted to know what it really was. You didn't tell us, and 
It was evil. That's good enough, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then you told us that, and we, then we backed off. That you the, the part you said it was used for mass murder. I thought hey, yeah. it's it's evil. That's good enough. No touchy. How do you know? Uh, how should I say this? He would ask you after you said it's evil. How do you know that about the hang? Ah. This one use identify. Oh, hmm. you touch the hand then. I oh. mean, it hurts a bit. However, this one is quite physically strong. You see. Hmm. I see. So, what should I say? This? Did you know about the hand of Vecna before? Um, you identified it. Would you just if we knew about it beforehand? Yes. B did you know about the hand beforehand? Yes. Uh, yes. Mm, where did you read about it? Oh, I'm sorry. That's a bit. Sorry, I was too straight. Uh, where did you? Um, I guess you would ask how. We read it on a page. No, uh, piece of paper. <laughs> oh my god, lying! This is literally it. Piece of paper. No, we we actually also heard from the uh, nothing. Yeah, the not no yeah. wait, nothing didn't tell no, us. No, no but the uh, no, the headmistress. Oh yeah, she she she, she did mention during the Rakshasa first first encounter. She did say something about Vecna. And the hand of Vecna, I think. Yes. Yes. She, to some degree, did. Yeah, we Are knew of its existence. Thing? Who told us? Headmaster. And mistress, but yeah. Uh, let me think. Yeah, I guess, to some degree. Not bad, actually. I don't think he would ask a more specific question that would. Uh, what's the name? What's the word? Incriminate us. Incriminate you for going down the library. Yeah, why not? Um, also, it's good that they don't. Um, yeah. If I may ask a question. Yeah. Who was the one that had to watch over us? Uh, um, the judge actually is confused. Uh, ex what? And. Oh, we, were, we were put under surveillance, and we was just wondering who the one was that was actually keeping tabs on us. It was the students of this uh, definition. Yeah, because the stu uh, students are now deaf. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, uh, Sachiko uh, actually tells there have been. Uh, no, how would you say this? Hmm. Uh, two of my subordinates um, were actually responsible for that. They don't seem to be uh, in good terms with you now. But do not. Oh, I don't it. know. I'm sorry for not liking to get spied on. They are actually. Um, uh, how would you say? Also, their subordinates. Um, not the real world. Um, uh, also, the subordinates do not only know the uh, basic of this situation, though they did report to me what they've seen, mostly what they've heard, which, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, I am laughing as she said mostly what they heard. <laughs> okay. The judge says, okay, maybe we should get back to the topic of this Octo. What do you know about him, except for him being apparently a kleptomaniac? Small guy, sons a weasel, casts magic. Hmm. 
and about his past? Not really much, actually. Small <laughs> guy cast magic summons a weasel. <laughs> also, oh, steals oh the weasel can go can spy fire. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> the weasel's awesome. He's also a divination mage. I don't know what it? he is. Oh yeah, divination. He altered fate. That kind of shit. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, probably. No that. I mean, he kind of altered altered our fates a few times. And you have no idea where he could have went now. Nope. Are there any other people or places that uh, he's bound to, or how would you say is? Are there any any other people? Are there any people he trusts? that you know of any friends, family, familiar places? Paco. <laughs> Who is Paco? <laughs> the weasel! <laughs> I see. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. Um... Oh, we... Yeah, actually, life. Uh, I, I, I... Uh, yeah, uh, I think he but came you... from the forest near from Port Kale. Wait, what? Actually, what? Yeah, I, 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 uh, well, out yeah. of character. Yeah, uh, that's that's most... my did note. I say that? Yeah. Holy shit. What, what did I say? Forest Sorry. near Port Kale. Port Kale? At least that's what's in my notes. And that's Fair enough. one of the first entries, so I have no Good point, actually. I, I actually have to... Huh. Holy shit, I mean, you always have to do an intelligence check to remember that, but fair enough. No. Okay. Um, the judge uh, looks over to the scribe who was while you all were talking, had, uh, very busy writing everything down, and the judge nods him to write that down as well but um okay what else did you hmm. do you think it is likely that this octo would seek your help or return to you or contact you in any way. We are not sure of that. Good question. I did, don't did, did, did think he, so. Did he trust us that much? No, I, especially, um, I think he knew how, especially you, uh, Lost Song, were worried about the hand. And the, because he stole it, you will be furious. I think he knows that. Uh, and yes, yes. I don't he think he wants to be in your reach at any. <laughs> yeah, I do not think he will enter any sort of uh, close area to me. He knows what I can do. It was requested that we. Stop the thorough surveillance um, of you three. Though we would, how would you formulate that? Mm. Um, God damn it! But we would still want to make sure that um, you can say this. Okay, but you know what? He would also ask you the following question. Do you intend to go after this after uh, do you intend to fight this octo? Mm, not really. 
Why would we? I mean, I the only <laughs> the only benefit we could have had <laughs> was uh, the art find the artifact and give it to the Nautic for payment. However, the Nautic is dead, so that's no payment. Why would I? Yeah, if if if, if we get something for it, we will do it. But we have enough other stuff to do, and most likely there are more people out there that are more f uh, fit for the job. Oh, I was not really um, asking if you, you would like the job of searching for him. This was more of a question if you would search for him on your own accord. But No, no, yes, but I if we would get a job, job, we would do it. But no, on, on our own account, I don't. Would you well, go look for him? Not without profit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Would you go look for him? Sure, what's in it for us? Wait, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, we could get that hand and seal it away again. That's a good thing, right? Well, after all, you three are, um, as far as we know, still the cl people closest to this Octo who has most likely, as you said, taken the hand by himself. We do not know if, uh, as far as you know, I mean, I guess I never asked that one, but I know you already would answer. Does Octo, as far as you know, does Octo have any connection to the a demon? draw but yes you would answer me with no <laughs> i mean well, he has a hateful connection with the drow that we murdered and the rakshasa that we killed mm. also that in check this is gonna sound in this in is, killing the rakshasa uh he was more of a support for the spider drow lady mm. also i rolled in Sure. I'm suddenly going to shout the greenhouse. What? This one just realized and remembered. Sometimes Paco spent times in the greenhouse. Mm, I see. Maybe. So he... it is most likely that he's not within the perimeter of Tynok right now. Well. What would be a good place to hide a secret of magic, if not among yes, other we magic? Will investigate. <laughs> we will investigate. Thanks for your help. Well, it has been decided that the missing of the hand of Vecna, which, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess he's not said that. Uh, is something that should be not known to the public because it could um, well have negative I should say this it could have negative effects if this came public and seeing that oh, I guess he could also ask you, would you know um, the Rakshasa and that spider you fought, did they have any connection, oh no sorry, do you know uh, have they ever mentioned uh, associates, associates of there, or how would I say that? Uh, basically, he wants to ask if there are more people. If you know, if I don't think they said anything true. about that. Hmm. Yeah, obviously, Vecna and Lot, but 
would you think it is likely that they, w I mean, you said this Rakshasa attacked you twice. Yeah. Killed it. Uh, the last time? Yes. Um, though, do you think they could attack you again? Maybe not this Rakshasa, but some of his associates. Um, Probably, I'm no demon uh, expert. No, no, I, I don't think so. He, he said something about gaining um, an ending life, and I don't think any associate. And he, he, he talked like he was a singular person that did that for himself. Mm. But I'm not sure. Uh, just a feeling. This one but does he, not knew, he knew Leomund, that's, yeah. that's for sure. This one does not know demons, this one does not understand demons, this one just keeps his axe sharp. Well, it is not something usual that you would see a drow and a demon conspire. So... I mean, you also do not yeah, often we'll see half-naked spider not ladies. Unlikely. What? Sorry. You also do not often see half-naked spider ladies, but we did. <laughs> it is believed that there is still a chance that this group, or maybe, uh, I don't know, we believe that it is likely that there is actually. Um, I really say this. Uh, that this Rakshasa actually had others who um, who helped him in aiding his goal. So it is not unlikely that you might get uh, be attacked again. And after, well, as it it was before concluded that Tainuk is the safest place, <clears throat> nonetheless, the Rakshasa <laughs> was able to show up again. So, we were thinking of position, or how we say this? Uh, if you could continue your studies outside of Tainok, we would like to bring you to a, a safe house for now and see how the investigation of this uh, of this suspect Okto goes further. And depending on how the investigation goes, we may need to ask further questions. So these so ones are would, going to be, be put into a prison. Cooperate with you, if you could cooperate with us. So these ones are going to be imprisoned. Uh, he's. How would he say this? It is not really a prison. It is for your own protection and yeah. this be won't be a permanent solution but uh, this was yeah. also some yeah. um, how say this? Uh, I will take the results of this questioning to my superiors but this was the temporary solution that was decided beforehand. Let me ask you something. What do we get in return for cooperating with that, uh, with you? Not being executed. <laughs> I mean, I mean no. we are going from the safest place to some safe house. 
How so what I, from how I like, think how this all happened. We all came from the school. We started learning. Everything was fine. We got attacked by Rakshasa. We were told to keep quiet. Then the school security failed a second time. The hand of Rakshasa got stolen. What? And and and. And now we're here, getting put into prison because apparently the safest place is no longer safe. What the fuck? <laughs> this is just... Do you know how ridiculous all of this sounds? To From our perspective. You're throwing us into prison because you don't want to, uh, us to tell others. And because apparently the safest place is no longer safe. And... Despite it actually being the fault of the school for failing security two times, it still gets blamed on, to, on us. Well, technically three you times see? if we count the Bixby. If that was close see, enough. See, three times. See? See, how, see my problem with this? School fucks up when we get blamed for it. First time already when the Rakshasa intruded and we re repelled it. We got, first we got picture. nothing. We like we were totally quiet, and and we did. So and now, because suddenly you think we would go around telling everyone about the hand of Beckner, you put us in the prison. Very nice. Um, you safe again. <laughs> As I said before, the main purpose of this is not that you, what do you say, is not that the, also I should mention this, he's a bit further away, he's not within the zone of truth. Isn't the zone of truth around him? Around him? No. Oh paladin. wait, not the paladin speaker, I thought I avoided And I don't think this is the area around the paladin, it's a point that he chooses the party. Uh, let me try. It's an aura. <laughs> anyway, he says the main purpose of this is not to make sure that this doesn't go public. It is also to protect you because the protection before was lacking. There so you're not even been, denying there are, that there have been, been discussions failed. with Tide Oak and um, other, no, who do you say is? And other influential people? <laughs> um, we know that Tide Oak prefers to keep their students as a, uh, who do you say is? Keep their students uh, know that it's, No. We know that it's Tainok's responsibility to keep their students safe. Well, they but fucking currently failed. Currently, you um, the interest. Oh no, how should I say this? The mm, but currently, you are. Uh, there are more than. Uh, there are more people than. No, how is this? Uh, there are more people interested about your actions than just the members of Tino. And these people think it's in the best interest to just lock away some students who actually want to do good. Very nice, just the system you have here. Well, it is not my position to judge this. I mean, ironic. <laughs> judge those above me. Um. See. What is the safe? What can we do there? Is it just literally 
be honest, is it literally prison or can we actually move five feet and own our fucking cells? Um, he would say, I do not know um, where this location will be or how it will be. Um, yeah. And I think this is enough for now. I was here to ask the questions, but you also had, um, I was also nice enough to answer most of yours. So we will conclude. Um, yeah, how would you say it? Conclude this session? Well, conclude, um, we will end it here. Um, and you see him standing up the pallet you feel like the spell effect is fading as the paladin makes a gesture you see the scribe still ending some of his notes getting his papers to another uh, the, the, the halfling was it the halfling getting his notes together and yeah and so you see the sachiko hang her head a bit not happy with the resolution of this now how this turned out she says well i guess i have to report to the headmistress now um she Uh, we'll say, for now, please uh, wait here for a bit longer. I don't know, I think I could end the session here. Yeah, I think that's a good point. We, This is the end of the questioning. Oh, and I thought the uh, end of game session. No. That's what I meant. Actually, I think we could end here. Oh, okay. And you can tell, so you also can think what you guys want to do. Follow them, go against them. Oh, let me think. Do I have something that I can? Uh, actually. Yeah, actually, I could do that again as well. I forgot about those notes I still have. Uh, I guess after uh, you're still in the room, uh, Ostron, are you still there or did you end stream? I think he fell asleep. Did he? Asta? Asta? Hmm. Did you end stream? No. Uh, okay, because you fell. It almost seems like you fell asleep. Yeah, right there. Re really tired. Yeah. I also okay, forgot okay. I'm gonna push the talk. So maybe we should end it here. Yeah. Lots of talk. Yeah. Lost tongue is not a talker. Yeah, I'm sorry. That was a lot of talking. True. Something, something safe anyway. out. Not so safe. Yada yada. Fair enough. That was obviously a very talk heavy session. I will end it there. <laughs> okay. Neat. So, uh, yeah. Ending stream. That one. And that one. Thank you guys for showing up. If you enjoyed, leave a follow. If you really enjoyed, consider subscribing. Uh, this one is supposed to be weekly. And... That was loud in my ears. Uh, this one's supposed to be weekly. I ask you to sub slash follow. Yeah. Uh, I'll see if I can stream more in the week. Not likely, but... Seeing how I... Uh, still need to find other games to stream as well. Uh, so, 
Anyway, otherwise, see you guys next week.